Wasps get involved when a female fig wasp full of eggs follows odor cues to a common fig tree and thrusts herself into the minuscule hole at a developing fig's base. From there, depending on whether it's a capra fig or a female fig, things go one of two ways. If it's a capra fig, the wasp deposits her eggs into the flower's ovaries, then dies. Instead of developing seeds, those flower ovaries turn into galls that nurture the wasp's developing offspring. Wingless and blind, the males hatch first, open the remaining galls, and fertilize the developing females. Yes, oftentimes they're sisters. Unless another wasp laid eggs here. Next, the males dig exit pathways they never use themselves, because they die before leaving the fig. Finally, the already fertilized females hatch, exit through the male-made holes, getting coated with pollen on the way, and fly off to other figs. If a wasp winds up in a female fig, however, she can't lay her eggs because the flowers are structured differently. So she dies without offspring. But she did pollinate the fig's flowers, so the tree can reproduce. Female wasps don't know which kind of fig they're entering and whether it'll give her offspring or use her to make its own. Because fig trees smell the same, regardless of sex. <laughs>